let's, let's just argue if it was 20 percent. let's just say that this character deals this he has frenzy plus one so times two what the fuck is this oh oh shit okay All right, what is going on guys? Fuffles back again, and we got Resurrections for the Thousand Year Blood War characters of Mayuri, Nemu, and Zombie Toshiro. Now, I don't know if we're gonna get a remake for Toshiro at some point, or maybe not a remake, but another Toshiro for Thousand Year Blood War, but without further ado, let's just get right into this. There we go. All right, so let's just get right into it, right? Thousand Year Blood War Mayuri, Soul Reaper Captain, Killer, Soul Reaper, so that hasn't changed at all. Soul Trait, Strong Attack Recharge, 12%. Secondary Soul Trait, What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Please be. What do I want on him? Full Stam, Havoc. He needs Havoc. If he doesn't get Havoc, he's trash. If I remember correctly, he has a SA3 that's a 900 radius. It's not even a regular full screen. Uh, innate skill, Havoc 20%. Oh, there. Oh my god. Oh, I got so scared. Oh my. Alright, 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 alright. Right. Soul Trait, Strong Attack, Recharge minus 12%. I saw the innate skill and I'm like, yes, Havoc. And I'm like, wait, why do you only have two soul traits? <laughs> so he ends up picking up full stamina damage with 16%. Okay, cool. Pretty standard. Um, like standard good resurrection. He except now he's picking up havoc. Actually, I feel like standard good resurrection now is gonna require havoc, right? Mugetsu picks up havoc. Um I forgot if Shunsui picked up havoc. Did you pick up a uh, PBS simulator? Was it Shunsui? No, actually, I, now that I think about it, I feel like Thousand Year Blood War Shunts we had Havoc originally. Yeah, he had Havoc originally. Oh, he was such a good character. Bro, for his time, this Shunsui was crack. Absolute crack. Alright, so but I feel like this innate skill Havoc 20% that was given to, I believe, Speed Yamamoto. Um, was, was it Speed Yamamoto? You see, now, now, I, now, now I'm second guessing myself, right? Because that banner, Thousand Year Blood War, it was Yamamoto. I'm not tripping. Oh, he didn't get Havoc. Who did you come out with? Aizen got Havoc. That's who I'm thinking. Bro, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, my brain just wasn't processing Aizen, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Kozo, Soul Society. Okay, yeah, there. So, uh, I feel like Havoc is going to be necessary for almost all resurrections on characters that don't have it. So, seeing Mayuri with it is good. I believe Nemu already had Havoc. Toshiro doesn't have Havoc. Because Toshiro is also a character that I think could be pretty good if he picks it up. Uh, going into the skills that we have here, Sprinter Plus 2, he had that... Um, damage to paralyzed enemies 30%. That's new. 100% that's new. Not sure about the Berserker 20%. It's very possible that he already had that. Um, I believe he actually did already have that. Weakened defense he already had. Did he have weaken or paralysis? Paralysis. Right, okay. Yeah, so I, I read paralysis, but I'm like, did he have weaken? Uh, yeah, so weakened defense, complete status immunity. He definitely had that. So it looks like this character is going to be picking up damage to paralyzed enemies 30%. He's picking up damage inflicted at full stem 16% as a soul trait, which I think is good because the heart now has even more strong attack recharge full stems. We really need this more on speed units, in my opinion. So I'm hoping that as more speed units start coming out, most speed units, for those that don't know, ended up picking up a strong attack recharge soul trait. So there's very, very high potential. Excuse me, there's a very high likelihood that we'll get more full stem strong attack recharge characters in the future. We just gotta wait for, you know, the resurrection order to flush itself out okay so next i have to pull up nemu boom all right so nemu is one of the characters i feel like she was 100 best in class when this character came out she did have a really really strange kit everyone thought that she had um what did they think she had i feel like everyone thought that she just had like a really great beam no, everyone thought that she had like a 960 AoE distant second strong attack, but ended up being the really thin 3k length beam as her second strong attack, if I remember correctly. And the reason that that's funny is because back in the day, we didn't have access to BBS simulator, so we didn't really know what characters' strong attacks were or their radiuses. 
So we radii, radius is diet. I'm, I'm just I'm using words that aren't even real anymore, right? So this character, I've, yeah, at six star, she originally already had havoc, but her second strong attack was this uh, 3K length beam, and everyone was like saying it's like oh it's like it, it it's so much longer than a normal um, AOE in front or whatever, and everyone thought that we were comparing it to the 960 AOE distance. So that's really cool that like we have BBS simulator, we have um people data miners like he can that can actually give us this information before the characters even come out and i feel like this helps us a lot or at least like as you're as you become familiar with this game for you newer players it really does open your eyes a lot to like maybe like not really the back end stuff but it lets you really make a decision on whether or not a character is worth summoning on despite you liking that character i feel like some people will see like retsu and be like oh yeah she's like, like imagine this retsu was dog shit right there's gonna be a lot of people that want the retsu just because it's retsu but there's also gonna be a lot of people that are like oh, it's like oh but she's not that op blah 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 you know what i'm saying there's always gonna be that i love the character but the character sucks right we've seen that with thousand year blood war kisuke we've seen that with mind yuha there's plenty of characters that end up coming out that are doo-doo and if we got access to the data like of what they do beforehand It'd be really cool to see and you can make a better decision especially with the orbs being as expensive as they are and uh this game in my opinion you shouldn't even be spending money on the game because like k-lab in my opinion doesn't come out with very good packs i think the four dollar bonanza pass is the only thing that's worth keeping matter of fact after this rotation of special move sources i'll probably cancel that subscription as well and just move it over to tower god okay so moving on here we have um attainable abilities she's picking up the innate skills last ditch survival 100 percent okay that's a weird one i'm not gonna lie attainable oh what the hold up attainable okay i saw this earlier but i didn't know it was her soul trait damage to enemies not afflicted by an ailment plus 16 percent now we see this on on characters like thousand year blood war heart ichigo speed tensa zangetsu where you deal a hundred percent damage you, you literally essentially deal double damage if the enemy is not afflicted by a status element so not afflicted by a status element plus 16 percent as a soul trait i don't if it, it feels a bit low but the fact that this gives you 16 percent damage to your characters that might not have status ailments usually characters without status ailments usually have better multipliers in terms of their damage back in the day characters would get frenzy plus one berserker 20 percent if they had status ailments and they would get berserker 40 percent or even berserker 60 percent in cases of i believe lele baro i think i think i'm talking on my ass berserker he had a berserker of 40 percent mm, i remember it being 60 for some reason uh, either way very high berserker in comparison to someone like nemu for example who had um who had like the 20 percent, and then like a year later every single character that was like nemu got 40 percent instead or 60 percent. i forget who else got a 60 percent. I know that 5th anniversary Byakuya got it, but he's he's an anniversary character, it don't count. And like 5th anniversary Ichigo got it too. Alright, so let's see what else we got here. Uh, damage inflicted at low stam 40%, okay. <laughs> you have a revive, right? Inflicted and automatically reviving. Oh, that's kind of cool. So she gives herself revive, she has the last ditch, and then she's going to have a damage inflicted at low stam 40%. That's very high, by the way. Uh, Havoc 20%, Sprinter plus 2 she already had sprint plus two berserker i i do have now pulled up here what'd you have berserker 20 bruiser 20 so berserker is going up by an extra 10 percent honestly i feel like this character hasn't really changed all that much but for power now you have access to damage to enemies not afflicted by an ailment 16 percent which for those that don't know usually you want to see strong attack recharge minus 12 percent and then damage inflicted at full stamp 16 percent usually like those are the soul traits that you want to go for but after you start scaling damage inflicted at full stam x amount by like a certain amount not really sure a good per not really sure on a good percentage then another multiplier usually ends up becoming more valuable right that's why you like seeing berserker 20 percent full stam 20 percent and then you'd like seeing this now uh 
gauge berserker a hundred percent that's not even part of the original berserker it scales completely differently having different multipliers that scale separately are in my opinion is always a good thing if it's a high enough percentage for it to matter and 16 percent might not seem like much but it does matter especially if you're running characters that don't proc status elements or to have frenzy but don't have increased status element chance because not being proccing a status element usually ends up like kind of hurting you on those types of characters all right and last but not least toshiro please get havoc i i, I don't even care about your soul trait i hope you get full stand but i don't care about your soul trait i just want to see havoc all right so zombie toshiro has two lunges and a full screen third strong attack I'm, I'm pulling it up. I might be wrong. I haven't played with this character in a while. I do like his lunge. 575 lunge. Not a very great lunge. Ah, uh, right. He doesn't have a full screen. He has the AoE distant. I love the AoE distant. That's a great strong attack. I just never played with this character because he didn't have Havoc. Innate skills. Yes! Innate skills have a 20%. Attainable soul trait, strong attack, damage inflicted at full stam, 20%. Very nice. So, I mean, this is only really going to help his uh, strong attack damage. Is not going to be like... I, I personally like full stam 16%. You almost never use your NAD, but it's cute to see. And... No, that's a lie. That's a lie. This is... A, I just realized that this is a whole other multiplier, just like what I was talking about earlier. It's not going to help your soul bomb damage, but he's not a nuker anyway. So, strong attack damage inflicted at full stamp 20%. That's really good. Like, for example, right? Say this character had a full stamp 20%, right? Let's, let's, let's just argue if it was 20%. Let's just say that this character deals this. He has frenzy plus one, so times two. What the fuck is this? Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Status ailment spiritual pressure boost 50%. I thought he was getting the SP boost 80. I was, I was, I was, I literally just almost lost my mind. <laughs> I literally just lost, almost lost my mind. I did lose my mind for a second. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So let's just assume that this character had frenzy berserker 20% full stamina damage boost. Uh, let's assume that this was full stamina damage boost 16%. So let's just do times two times like 1.4 because Berserker 20% plus the Lieutenant's badge just times one, like an extra 20% Berserker. Now, say this character got full stamina damage boost. You run the links. You have uh, 25 because of Chad, 32 because of the links. So 50 plus 32, 82. So 8 to and then I'm not going to calculate in that status element spiritual pressure boost, but, but let's just argue this, right? So this is Berserker. This is full stamina damage boost. Not really much more than that, if I remember correctly, outside of like, you know, the Frenzy Berserker full stamina. So let's go into the next option. So this is 509.6 with that multiplier. So times two for the Frenzy times 1.25%. Oh wait, hold up. This full stem was supposed to be six. We we're calculating this was for 16%. I'm a dumbass. Uh, let's uh, do clear 100 times two. So from frenzy times uh, full stem. So Chad, P15 skill. That's 50%. 32, 82% plus 16. If that was the attainable soul trait that he got in particular. So 82 plus 16, 98. So it's 98% times 1.98% times 1.4 for the Berserker 20% plus the uh, Lieutenant's badge because like that's just more more damage, right? There's the actual number that you would get. Cool. So 554.4. Now, say this character has the Frenzy times uh, Chad 32 plus T15 skill times 1.82. And now we multiply in the 1.4 for the Berserker. Now, if you got 16% from the full stamina damage boost, you get the 554.4. But since you're getting the strong attack damage inflicted at full stamp, you're getting an extra 20%. Let's assume that this was 16% instead of 20. And you'll see here that you're dealing significantly more damage because of this strong attack damage inflicted at full stamp 16% 
than you would full stamina damage boost because you're getting a whole nother multiplier. So this is exactly what I was talking about. This is really cool. I like this. And the fact that it's 20% instead of 16% is great because this character is not a nuker in the first place. And now that this character is getting status element spiritual pressure boost 50%, he might not be a nuker, but at the very least, you're dealing more damage. So this soul trait is giving you more damage overall. And it's a soul trait, which means that you can literally slap this onto any other character that isn't a nuker or a character that is a nuker, but you're not going to really use them as a nuker. Like, for example, White, right? He's going to one shot almost all content in the game without full stam 16%. So you can run this instead. I like how I'm this is a picture i'm trying to like double click it to highlight it but no i like this a lot this is a really really good soul trait so i love seeing this on the normal attack damage at full stam 20 percent on soyfon i love seeing this on mugetsu i i'm 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 very happy with this this is really really freaking cool and um yeah no i'm i'm really glad that K K Lab is finally coming out with like not only new soul traits but really really good resurrections and i think that that's very important because these characters become like they sell these characters right i believe if i go into like the shop right here i can actually like go in and buy these characters am i tripping i really wish that their loading screen was, was a bit quicker but if i go to character packs uh, you, you'll see here that i'm pretty sure that they still sell thousand year blood war characters and these thousand year blood war characters don't leave oh they do leave the shop oh okay so i, I thought they didn't leave the shop i'm not gonna lie until 10 28 right and you can bet your ass that they're gonna put in the toshiro soy fawn and all that and to pay in 21 bucks this might be a lot to a lot of people that's fair but like giving the option for players to like purchase the characters instead of gambling for the characters hey more power to you right and the fact that I, I do think that toshiro is not only going to be playable i think he's gonna be pretty okay i'm not gonna say he's good because like good standards have gone up by a lot but that third strong attack is really strong he's gonna hit hard thanks to the status element spiritual pressure boost I, I i don't even think nemu's best in banner anymore but i think she's still very good like this is just a great banner overall because if you pull up like mayuri i want to show y'all like how bad this first this third strong attack was right Mayuri. Uh, let's see here. Scroll down. Get more. All right, yeah. Without the resurrection, because he didn't have havoc before, so his third strong attack was a 900 AOE distant. To give context, imagine most of the characters you play, right? They all almost all have havoc and a 1200 radius third strong attack due to that havoc. Imagine if that 1200 was reduced by 25 percent imagine a 25 percent radius reduction on that strong attack that you depend on that's nuts like for for example uh what, what's a what's a good example like nah that's a great that's already a good example but yeah that's pretty much my thoughts on it like imagine if your, your character was just not as dependable like imagine if your beam that 3k length beam that you guys like worship so much had the width of the freaking seventh anniversary ichigo hi caramba